Hey guys, Jason here and uh, with Rising Moon Studios and this is another video um, for my prop build for my Ragnarok sword. This is probably one of the most advanced um, as far as um, completeness I've done in a prop. But um, so I'm working on the actual uh, pieces for my uh, for the foam pieces of my sword. So let me show you what I got. First of all, I've got several sheets of uh, foam core, and I bought these at the dollar store, the 99 cent store. If you have a 99 cent store in your area, then that's great. I bought these for 99 cents. It's not superb quality foam core, but since this is going to be painted and covered in um, probably paper clay or something like that, it's okay. I just need something to bulk up my sword. So I've got some poster board, or some foam core. I've got some, uh, metal straight edge. You're definitely going to want a straight edge if you have to make straight cuts. I've got a smaller ruler. I've got my uh, my French curve, my uh, design ruler, my styling ruler, just because I really like it. I really like it because, I don't know if you can see this. Let me put something behind it so you can see. If you can see right there, there's that grid right here that it goes down to the eighth of an inch. And it's really good for making square, um, getting square cuts and everything like that because you can like use the grid to line up your lines and square off your corners and everything like that. So it's a really handy tool. Plus it's got curves, so you can like make really uh, straight curves. Uh, pencil, you're gonna definitely want a pencil or a pen or something like that. And then I got some utility knives, like so, that um, have the expendable, uh, extendable blade. And these are the ones that are are scored. If you can see that, they're scored right there. So when the tip gets dull, you just snap it off with a pair of pliers, and then you have plenty more blades. And there's some extra blades in the handle. I picked up a couple of those. Here's another one, also at the dollar store. So all of my supplies so far were less than $10. So first thing I did is, I've lost it, but if I can find it, oh, there it is. It fell back behind this other table. Is I took my drawing that I did in the last video and I just cut it out and I went through and I made some markings on it to kind of just like give myself some some measurements and that kind of thing so I can make sure things are square. And there's the handle piece still on tack because I don't really need the handle because I'm not like carving the handle out of the uh, out of the uh, foam that's going to actually be a dowel rod or something like that. So also because this is longer than the foam core as you can see I'm going to have to stagger it when I build up my layers. So what I have to do is decide how I'm going to do that. And I've already kind of gone through and figured out foam core. This foam core is 30 inches wide or long by 40 inches wide, or 20 inches this way, 30 inches long. So two halves of this will make um, one length of my blade and my quillion. So what I did with the rest of my pieces is I just divided them up. Um, the widest part of my blade is seven and a half inches here at the bottom of the quillion. The blade itself is seven inches. So what I did is I just divided my foam core up in seven and a half inch segments, which in 30 inches works out perfectly. And then I was able to cut out one piece of each one. So I did my bottom half, my top half, my bottom half, and my top half, and I could get like two full pieces out of that, one of them. The other thing I want to do is like, I don't want to have the seam of all these at exactly the same place because that's just going to make my sword really unstable. So what I'm going to have to do is do part uh, one layer in halves like this and then my next layer that goes on top will be in thirds. So I'll have a bottom part, a middle part, and a top part which I'll probably do out of this. But I'm going to cut a couple more layers of 
my top half of my two-piece blade sections before I start my three-piece three piece blade sections. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay one of my pieces in here. Uh, what I did is I just measured this out. I know these lines here that I've drawn on here. So you can see, I know those are straight enough. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to kind of line these pieces up with those pieces. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect because you're going to carve some of this down anyway and um, stuff like that. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But I'm just going to kind of trace around my uh, sword piece here. And when I cut these out, I'll actually use my ruler to get nice straight cuts and everything. So there's one trace. I'm going to trace it again right next to it. So I've got my two bottom halves traced in. Now I'm going to do my two top halves. And I'm just going to kind of line this up with this line here because I know that line is straight. And on my uh, top half of these blades, I'm letting them share this center line right here. So that's one less cut that I have to make. All right, so there's my two top parts of my blades traced in. So let me show you real quick how to cut these. It's really easy. So I've got my metal straight edge here and I've got my uh, utility knife. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line up my straight edge right here on my line that I need to cut. Open up my utility knife. Now I find what's best when cutting this foam core is to do a light cut first. Right down your line with the very tip of your utility knife. And then you can go in again and do another cut. Whoops. Just make sure you're staying flush against your metal straight edge. And if it's still not cut, then you can go through and make another cut. But I find it's better to make uh, several shallow cuts than trying to do one big deep cut like that. It gives you just a little bit of a cleaner cut. Obviously that's not a perfect example, but you can see it gives you just a neater, cleaner cut if you do it that way. Anyway, so let's go ahead and cut this next one. Just again, lining up my um, ruler, my straight edge, to my lines. Cut lightly to cut that top layer of poster board. Cut a little bit deeper. And if you need to, cut again. And then as you can see, I got like a nice, really clean cut. So yeah, just, um, you don't have to really push. Like again, you can see it's a nice, clean, smooth cut. If you try to push too hard or cut too heavily or cut through all three layers, you get a, a much rougher cut. So real easy. Light cuts all the way down. And usually if your blade is sharp, it only takes two. So there's one of my little pieces. This is my little, the top part. Let me cut out my uh, one of my bottom parts. Yeah. Now I have like a curve for the bottom of the blade. So I'm actually going to use my uh, curve here to uh, make sure I get this cut lined up and get it kind of nice and neat. So again, same thing. I'm just going to kind of punch my blade into that first layer and cut lightly to break that first layer of foam. Go again. Oops. Trying not to um, get off. And then if you have to go one more time to get all the way through. Oh, I should have went ahead and did both of these. So yeah, 
And there's my curve cut. Again, you can see by cutting it in sections, you get a cleaner cut um, instead of trying to cut it all at once. I'm going to keep doing this and I'll probably come back and show you my progress when I finish cutting all of these out. See ya!